Ole now is a is a top guy there. Got a nice skill, and uh, he's got nice record. Everyone knows he's the best, but you know to have weight is not uh, like a cruiser. Every weight one punch can change all story, but it's good. You can't give us any uh, insight into his power because <laughs> that's what people are asking about. What he's had two fights against Witherspoon and Chisora at heavyweight. Still, questions have to be answered about whether he's too small at heavyweight, etc. What's his power like at heavyweight? Can you make any comment on that? Yeah, but uh, I asked him for two weeks, but uh, two weeks now, but I, I didn't, I was not expecting. I don't know if it's the way he prepared for it, but I never get any punch that uh, he hit me. Like I can see that he can move that, but maybe because he's keeping that for fight. But you know, in cruise weight, it's not the same in every way. If you if you see him, he looks small, and you know he need to put some weight on it because in every weight, you know, have heavy punch. In cruise weight, he's got nice skill, but uh, I don't think he has the same power with AJ. I don't think so. AJ has got power, more power than him, but I aspire him. I never see any uh, big punch like a spy AJ. That is a big difference, but you know, boxing is not only a uh, big punch, you know, it's boxing skill as well. Because I learned lesson from that. Uh, I guess Michael Anta, when I lost, I was looking only for big punch to stop him. Those are the words of Martin Bacali, okay? And he states that he was sparring Usyk for two weeks, as you guys heard him say, if you didn't hear him. I know he has a deep accent, so. But he did say he was sparring AJ for two weeks. I'm sorry, Usyk for two weeks. And he have sparred both fighters, okay? Note. And he didn't feel anything that hurt him or rocked him or moved him. And he pretty much stated that, you know, he doesn't have the same power as AJ and cruiserweight is a different ballpark heavyweight. All it takes is one punch, but in the rounds that he fought again, he sparred Usyk. He didn't have or feel any power that hurt him. Now, um, I think that's absolutely true. I mean, I think first of all, cruiserweight and heavyweight, there's a reason why you have weight classes, okay? And <clears throat> you have a lot of people that um, rely solely on power. You know, if this was a power contest, this wouldn't be a contest. Because, you know, everybody knows AJ can punch, okay? AJ can punch... Um, and he is a kind of guy, you know, the right uppercut's lethal, as Klitschko. The left hook is lethal, as Andy Ruiz, you know, or a Dominic Brazil, or um, Alexander Povetkin. You know, those punches are lethal. And that's what's going to make this equivalent to a spectacular fight. Why? Because Usyk is not known for punching. He's not known for a power or knockout punch or anything like that. He's known for speed and skill and volumes of punches. Tiring his opponent out with the skill that he possesses, wearing him down round after round um, with a probing jab. And from that jab, he unloads with a lot of combinations along with angles, okay? Now, <clears throat> you look at um, guys like... Um, <clears throat> Martin McCauley. Let's look at Martin McCauley for a minute. Martin McCauley, you know, has been in there with like Marius Walk and Kevin Johnson, you know, and his only loss was to uh, Michael Hunter. All right. Now, if you know anything about Michael Hunter, Michael Hunter is a person <coughs> that was on, the only person that beat him was Alexander Usyk. Now, he's not known for power either. Okay. So with 22... Uh, 20 wins, he has a loss and a draw, you know, a uh, loss to Usyk and a draw to Alexander Povetkin. You know, he has a pretty good record, but he's also not known for power punching. And what I'm trying, where I'm getting at is 
the one guy that is not known for power punching stopped the guy that said he didn't feel anything with Alexander Usyk. Um, I think guys like Michael Hunter, Alexander Usyk, smaller heavyweights that don't really possess knockout power, you know, don't get that confused with what Michael Hunter did to Mike Wilson recently. Okay. But normally big guys like, you know, um, like Martin McCauley, you know, Martin McCauley, six, six, he's the same height as Joshua. He's, you know, he's there to, uh, <clears throat> mirror Joshua and to help and to aid Alexander Usyk because he's paying him. But it's strange to me how someone says, well, hey, AJ has more power. Okay, that's that's what he's supposed to have. He's the bigger guy. He's a huge puncher. He has a high knockout percentage. He only has one loss, and he will go in for the kill if he hurts you. That's AJ, okay? And he's learning more and more as time permits. <clears throat> Coming from a guy that's saying, hey, well, one punch can change it all. Yeah, it can. But the same guy that said that got stopped with a guy that has is not also known for power. It was a TKO. You know what that means? That means he got hurt with accumulation of punches. Okay. So as you can see, Michael Hunter is putting together different punches on Martin Bacoli. Okay. So what Martin Bacoli is saying, it's true, but it's really irrelevant because he's saying something that we already know as if this is a factor. Can it be a factor? Yeah, it can, because this is boxing. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, the irony of it is the person that's saying, I really didn't feel anything. Well, you felt those damn punches from Michael Hunter, though, didn't you? You know, that's the thing about it. You know, you felt these punches and this is your only loss. So I think in hindsight, someone that's not, you know, concerned with uh, one punch power or should I say <clears throat> Someone that's only talking about one punch power should be worried about more uh, a accumulation of punches, accumulation of punches that fighters throw. Just like Usyk, I, that's the only way I see a TKO him beating Joshua. I don't see him hitting him with shots like that. He could hit him with shots that surprise him. Now, who knows, right? But then, you know, AJ's a pretty tough dude regardless of what people say. But I think if he hurt, if he stunned him, he could. The only possible way he can stop him is from accumulation of punches where he has Joshua hurt. But ironically, that's the same uh, type of way that M Martin Bacali was stopped by Michael Hunter. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Martin Bacali stating that Usyk doesn't have the same power as AJ. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.